Let's talk briefly about how SQL came to be and how it's evolved into the various flavors we see today. The language has been around since the 1970s when it was created to handle the manipulation and retrieval of data stored in relational database management systems. Since then, we've developed standards for SQL, which are updated by the major standards boards roughly every three to five years. Vendors are constantly trying to outdo each other by adding new features on top of these universal standards. This is what creates these various flavors of SQL. Let's talk a little bit about those most common flavors that you'll see. You've got your enterprise solutions, Oracle and Microsoft SQL Server. Then you've got some free solutions, MySQL, Postgres, and SQLite. The most important thing to remember about all of these languages is that these different flavors are much more similar than they are different. They're all built on the same universal standard, and the differences you'll find are minor syntax changes. So anything you learn today in MySQL is going to be broadly applicable to any of these other four flavors. Since we'll be using MySQL, I wanted to give you a quick overview of some of the most common MySQL editors out there. We'll be using MySQL Workbench. It's available on Mac, Windows, and on Linux. Another great option is phpMyAdmin. This is a web app, so it works regardless of what operating system you're using. All you need to do is be able to connect to the internet with a web browser, and you can use phpMyAdmin. Heidi SQL is a good option that a lot of people like for Windows. And one that I've used in the past and really liked was SQL Pro, which is a Mac-only solution. Just like we talked about with the similarities between the various flavors of SQL, I want you to think the same way about the editors. These editors are much more similar than they are different. So I don't want you to think I'm learning how to use MySQL Workbench or I'm learning how to write code with MySQL. I want you to think I'm learning SQL and I'm learning relational databases because these editors are very similar. The syntax of the different flavors is very similar. So everything you learn in this course is going to be very broadly applicable to the other flavors of SQL.